Hey, what is going on, guys? My name is Farmer B, and welcome to another episode of Rofa for Noobs. So, in this episode, I'm just gonna mostly speaking about um, positioning and what its position is supposed to do and what's its purpose on the field. That's the same thing, but I'm still saying it in a different way, easier for some people to understand. Um, I'm gonna start with. Uh, the elite non-moving uh, keeper or mostly known as the goalkeeper uh, the goalkeeper is supposed to catch the ball in every different variation depends on the shoot the power and the altitude of the ball and it's a very important job for the keeper to have an eye on the ball or in the, uh, in the field uh, in general, if you guys are using voice chat, if the keeper has a microphone, uh, better use uh, the goalkeeper as an instruction and, and uh, as an instructor because he can see the whole field and what is going on. Now, moving to the defense line, we have the right wing back, the right back, the center back, the left back, and the left wing back. Now, for the center backs and the left and right backs, uh, their main purpose is to make a pressure, um, let's say, around uh, this area in the front line. Uh, in case you guys don't have a right wing back or a uh, left wing back, just move uh, your right and left back a bit more wide around uh, here, so they can have more... Uh, guarding so they can have more space to guard uh, and yeah all, all the uh, all what uh, right back center back and left back have to uh, mainly focus on is defending uh, intercepting and try not to get uh, the, uh, the attackers passed to uh, to the goalkeeper or in general is on the box in case uh, somebody pass inside the box, uh, every everyone every defender should clear the ball, like in whatever direction, and make sure there is no one there or just your teammates. But make sure you don't pass uh, accidentally to an opponent, because it's gonna end bad for the team. Now, usually the right wings, uh, the right wing and the left wing back are supposed to. Either pass to the mid or pass back to the goalkeeper and the goalkeeper will uh, have to dive because in the rulings when you dive as a goalkeeper you cannot be intercepted so when you do that and the goalkeeper dives uh, you should be able to uh, the goalkeeper should be able to make a long clear that's something we have never used but I suggest it for other people as well now moving to the mid uh, line, we have the center defensive mid, which is going, uh, which is uh, mostly his job to make intercepts around the center area and let this uh, center back do the last, uh, the last case scenario, uh, the worst case scenario. And center defensive mid is the uh, has to do the same job as center back. But it's more important because uh, you need to be very skilled. Uh, you need to be the very skilled defender to be in the center defensive mid. And have a lot of possession in clears. Um, now for the right mid, center mid and left mid. Their, uh, their purpose is to try prevent an attack actually pass through the mid. Uh, if this happens, uh, most people have to do a clear. Just a second. And now we have uh, the left mid, right mid, and center mid. Now what uh, those midfielders have to do is don't let the attack pass the midfield. And if that da if that does happen, uh, try move back uh, to the center defensive mid position and try uh, counter attack. To the attackers which I'm gonna be moving to them right now and moving on we have the cam 
usually known as the playmaker of the game. Uh, most people uh, aim to. Oh, by the way, cam means center attacking mid, and most people aim to pass to the cam position. And what the cam position does is make the the play proceed. What the uh, cam usually uh, has to be good at dribbling and very uh, and have a very good vision on passing. And with uh, his vision, he should cross either to the wings or the or the left. Yeah, or the striker. Usually, it's on the wings and from the wings to strikers. Uh, depends on the position the, uh, there is the field. There is also offside. For those who don't know what offside means, it means that if there is a player in your team that is past the defense line, uh, the game pauses and the ball goes to the opponents. So any goal that counts as offside, it does not actually count. Now moving to the wingers, um, we have the right wing and the left wing. Um, now mostly what left wingers have to do is cross to the striker from the sidelines, usually from here. And the striker's job is to make the goal or even uh, if you're a striker and receive the ball from around, let's say here. Uh, you either fall back for a bit or just uh, if you have enough confidence that you can dribble uh, you can dribble around it and try to make a run for the shot but uh, one thing is that um, Rofa has a thing called reach which I'm gonna explain in another tutorial more detail what reach is now I'm just gonna say that reach is pretty much something that caused by lag and yeah, if you say that word during a, ba uh, a match, it's uh, bannable. Uh, so don't say like, I got reached. For example, what reads is, let's say that this cam has uh, the ball uh, and he has it in front. And I come from like here and I steal the ball. Uh, this called reads. Uh, Uh, but uh, don't say this word during uh, matches, but it's kind of obvious when you get reached. Um, now, what I was going to say, um, yeah, a good tactic for the wings is when they come here, and mostly uh, the defenders on the opponent team uh, would crowd the, uh, the, the box here. And if a good position for the cam is to stay outside the box, and the wingers will just try and fake... That it will pass to the striker, but actually pass to the cam. And uh, when cam will be about here, he should make a run and make a long shot. What Joy did right now. Now for the striker, um, his purpose is to make a play or finish a goal. So you have to be very accurate at dribbling and very accurate at shooting. If you're not very confident at dribbling, I recommend you fall back and wait for your teammates to come and support you when, when you don't when you don't have enough support and then make a play or at least pass the ball back if there is option to when uh, the play happens uh, you're good to go if you're confident enough to do dribble then just do it and make a run to make a goal that's what I have to say for this position now I'm gonna make an explanation about how positioning works during a kickoff okay let's say this is the midfield before when a kickoff happens the usual position is a nine uh, the usual team formation is a 9v9 so this is our uh, positioning usually on the field we have the goalkeeper we have the center back right back and left back inside the box we have one center mid. Uh, yeah, this is a small scale. And this is uh, Cam. Um, right close to the, uh, the mid circle. And then we have wings usually uh, hanging to the very end side of the, uh, of the pits. Because then the striker, when he does a kickoff, 
because in this uh, group you can do a kickoff like from you can pass to anywhere not next to the person who is supposed to be on the circle so yeah we usually just do a normal thing when uh, most every team does either pass back to cam and come to the wings or the striker uh, pass directly to the wings as the wings uh, proceed forward exactly what joy did so yeah this is uh, all about positioning um, so if you guys want to see more tutorials hit uh, hit the like button subscribe to my channel hit the, the notification bell and I was and this was Professor noobs I was farmer V peace out